Hey folks, this is James. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this. It's like a classic tile flipping MoGraph effect, but using a custom fall off. In this case, it's just a regular cube. Once you've got it set up, as with all of these procedural setups, you get a ton of variations out of them. Okay, so let's make a start on this. So starting with a fresh scene, I'm going to add new geometry nodes modifier to the cube. Start with a grid as the base object. 2x2 two two and 20x20 20 20 vertices. I'm going to instance cubes onto those points in that grid. So I just grab a cube that into the instance and change the size to 0.1 and just to shrink that to make that a tile 0.02 on the Z axis. Now I'm going to get this to rotate. So rotate instances and we want to rotate that from 0 to 180 on that X axis. So I'm going to do that with a mix node. So grab mix vector, put that into the rotation. Now this is in radians. So rather than 0 to 180, you can say pi 3.142 is the equivalent of 180. So as that factor moves through from 0 to 1, you're getting it rotating from 0 to 180. Okay, now I need a fall off object. We put a regular cube in at a size of 1. Just going to call that fall off. And so that I can see through it, I'm just going to change the viewport display to wire. So it's just a matter of dragging that in. Make sure you change that to relative. Otherwise, you won't be able to animate the transform. And then we need a proximity node. So geometry, proximity, geometry into there, and distance into the factor. You can see we're getting these rotations but they're all rotating to some amount. So I want to control that. Put in a map range and change the out of that to minus one to one and the in 0 0.2. That gives a tighter fall off there. You can see that's controlling the fall off. So I can see this a bit better and I start putting some materials in. So add a couple of materials. I'm going to make a black and a red material. I'm going to attach them to the cube. So set material, put that on black, shift D to duplicate, put on red. You can see that has overridden all the black. So I really just want that on one face. So if you grab index and compare, 
It's actually saying if the index is zero, then we'll make that red. Now I actually want it the other way around. So I say if it's not equal, because that's looking at the index of each face. So let's get some animation onto this. Now I've got this at 30 frames a second and 300 frame frame range there. So I'm going to rotate that zero on zero frame, 360 on the last frame there. And select both keyframes, make that linear. I've got our basic tile flipping already set up. Just to make that a little bit more interesting, I'm going to put some variation in the colour. It's a matter of adding in a custom attribute. So store named attribute, put that on instance, so it's per instance, col for colour, and we need to match that name up in the shader context. So attribute, instance are, and you have to type that in, col. Now this is a float, so I'll use the factor out of there. And if I scrub that, you can see it is affecting it, but we want this per instance. So you can use that same map range, put that into the value. And then we want to run this through a color ramp. And you can see what that's doing. So I'll put that the other way around. Put in a third color there. Make that a red. Obviously you can use any color you want. And you can see the effect. And by then playing around with these parameters here, you can get a myriad of different looks. This will control how tight those rotations are. So you get some pretty crazy flipping. Put that down low. And smoother. If you put that up high. Okay, and let's change that to smoother. And just one last thing that I can show you there. Is changing this to points. So if you move this down. Using the points as the fall off, so you start getting what looks like four different fall offs. And if you increase the range of that, you get some quite interesting effects with that. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.